Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Hey, Brooklyn and I are outside, and we are about to do our unboxing, review, and testing of a new Big Blue 100 watt solar panel. All right, we're going to do the unboxing. We'll take a nice close look. We'll see if this thing angles really nice, and we'll connect it to the Big Blue C600 power station. All right, so let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And there it goes. And uh, this thing uh, comes with a DC 5525 cable and a user manual. But let's go ahead and just take a look at this before we set it up to use it. All right, let's get a close-up of this here. So just looking at it initially, um, it's not magnetic, okay? But uh, it just kind of folds, makes it easy to carry. So not, not too bad. Sorry about the bang. All right, you do have a mounting hole, so that's going to be helpful if you decide that you want to mount this. You've got one on each corner, so that's not bad. And let's take a look at the kickstands, and um, they are Velcroed on. All right, they're Velcroed on. They do have these stretchy straps. We'll, we'll kind of check these out and see what kind of angle they give us, but uh, Velcro seems to do a good job. You do get two kickstands, so it's uh, one on each side all right and um, you do get uh, an SAE to DC uh, 5525 so that's pretty interesting we're gonna go ahead and do our solar test using this hundred watt solar panel I'll have some specs coming up in a moment and uh, the, you know, C600 Big Blue Power Station, all right? Now, one of the recommended accessories is going to be this solar angle guide. And let me just show you real quick while the sun is still pretty good. See how it creates a shadow there on the bottom left-hand corner? Your goal is to get that shadow in the target. And if you do that, this works great for any solar panel. You don't really need to put it on it. You just need to take your hand, make sure that you have the right angle with your solar panel, and then you are generating as much power as possible. So very inexpensive, we'll put that in the description. Brooklyn's here hanging out with us, by the way. And then this is the cable that the solar panel comes with, all right? So it's a DC cable um, with a specific type of connector. You know, I've, I've seen this stuff on battery tenders and stuff, but I've never seen it on a solar panel. Let's go ahead and take some time and go over solar specs for the power station and the solar panel. Let's start off with the C600. On the left side, I'll put that up. So the C600 maxes out at 120 watts of solar, 12 to 30 volt, 5 amp. Now, as far as the panel is concerned, um, open circuit voltage is 24 volt. Short circuit current is 5.9 amps. The conversion rate, they say, is 23%. It's uh, IP65, comes with an 18-month warranty. It weighs 8.22 pounds or 3.72 kilograms. All right, so I have an update. This panel will not only come with a DC side but they have an extra cable that will come that'll have this connector with mc4 on the other side when you buy this on amazon right now okay so links will be in the description but i wanted to make you aware i just found that out 
Now the way the panel connects, it's, it's got this uh, system here, but it really just connects like this. Last time I saw a connector like this was on a battery tender. So you connect it here, and then at the end it'll give you that barrel port that we would connect to the uh, power station. I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. Brooklyn's hanging out over there, enjoying the sun. And we're just going to show you how this connects. So here's the barrel port for solar, all right? And uh, 12 to 30 volt, just kind of plugs right in. And uh, let's go ahead and see how much uh, we're getting from this panel on this Sunday, sunny day. And by the way, um, we have uh, no clouds in the sky, and it is uh, currently 78 degrees. So there's the panel all set up. Um, it doesn't really angle much. You know, I was hoping the bands in the back of it were elastic, but they're not. Um, so there is a limit. This is as far as this will go. All right, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, you know, again, the Velcro... You know, attaches to the panel. It is nice. It's two panels, but this thing will not go down any further. And you can. Let's see. Let's do a tilt up. Let, let me. Let me see how high I can get it angled. So there's your highest angle that it'll sit at. I mean, honestly, if wind hit that, it probably would fall. And now let me show you how low in the same camera view we can uh, lay that down for the sun angle. And there you go. All right, so that's as low as it gets. Uh, so it's not bad, it's a nice little panel. Easy to open, close, you know, Velcro for the kickstands. All right guys, and there goes Brooklyn. Hi. All right, the panel's set up. Let's go ahead and check the angle real quick. Like I told you about this accessory. And that is the best angle we're going to get. This panel doesn't go back any further, so let's see what we're getting here in the sun. There we go, we're getting 89 watts. The uh, power station is 77%, so it'll take about an hour and a half to charge. That's a success. You know, 88, 89 watts out of a 100 watt panel, small, easy panel. Not bad. All right, so let's talk a little bit here. So first of all, I like how it's made. It seems like it's really good quality over the last couple of weeks of testing. All right, um, I'm glad to find out that they also give you a MC4, right? So that you can actually buy this panel and use it with another power station. So you don't just get, obviously, this SAE to barrel but now you're going to get a second cable in the box which is going to be SAE to MC4 so you can buy this for your power station using our links I like the handle I like that it has the holes on all four corners I like that it's a two panel 100 watts so it's real easy to set up okay and the price doesn't seem too bad all right now the only thing I don't like is that you really can't open these guys up and actually get this panel to lay back further like it stops here so those are not they don't stretch all right so you can't really get that lean back <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about but made well and uh, I recommend it. I do. It, it's nice. It is sponsored, of course. You know, we always, you know, let you know when we have a sponsored video. So, hey, when you get a moment, give us a thumbs up. It would really help the channel. I hope that this video helped you in some way, first of all. Okay. Uh, share our video with your friends and your family. And if you do share our video, post a comment down there and let us know so we can give you some love. I sure hope, if you're not a subscriber of our channel, that you subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you. We love chatting with you guys, answering questions, our viewers, our subscribers. And uh, follow us, by the way, on our social media up here. Check out our new Tesla channel. We just got our Tesla for the first time. 
and I have to say over driving over a couple thousand miles I'm very impressed so far I haven't had any issues I love not going to the gas station currently we're doing reviews on accessories but I promise uh, when time allows I'm going to start sharing what it is what's the adjustment driving gas and then going into electric what are some things that you should know all right guys have a wonderful wonderful day thank you so much for your time